Welcome back everybody to the sixth episode of the Sutton United Career Mode. Now we had a short break from the series as it was Team of the Year week, so I was on Ultimate Team. I also uploaded a few Korean videos. Please check them out if you're interested in Korean. Anyways, um, as you can see right now, we are in sixth place. We are, yes, we are behind AFC Wimbledon, who's actually our rival. We are behind them because of goal difference. They have a six goal difference, and we have one. Uh, in this episode, we are going to play a few more games. I also read the comments that said we should play one game per episode. So I think that is a good idea. And starting from this episode, we are going to play at least one game per episode, and we will simulate the other ones if there are more than one game. Now, with that all done, Let's jump straight into it and advance a few more days. We have a home game against MK Dons, I believe. The scouting report, we don't need to check that now. Okay, yes, it is MK Dons. And let's see, so they are on 18 points. They are 18 points in 10th place. That's not bad. What games do we actually have coming up? So we have Gillingham away next week. Then we have a cup match. Okay, so we definitely want to play the first team for the cup match. And then probably rest the first. Okay, so we'll do the first team now. And then the second team this week. And then we'll do the first team on the 18th and second team on the 21st. That seems about right. All right, so since this is going to be the first team, I'm going to simulate this game actually. We're going to simulate this game, then we will also simulate the next game, and we're going to play the cup match. I think the cup match is the most important out of these three games, so that makes the most sense to play it. Let's see, kickoff, and then tactical view sim match. Alright, so MK Dons, they are two positions, or four positions behind us. Um... We are kicking off in yellow. Let's see what we can get out of this game. Hopefully we can get three points. All right, we have some space down the right wing. Cut it to the back, and it's a good save by their goalie. This game is actually very crucial for us because we want to stay in playoff contention. I believe sixth place is what we're at right now, and in order to stay in a playoff spot, it is from sixth place. All right, and we tackle them on the right side. Can we counter? There's some space down the middle, and another good save by their goalie. Okay, we're looking very good in the early stages. The following corner kick plays at center. Can we get a shot off? And another good save by their goalie. So, okay. Let's see if we can make one of these count. Plays it back again, and another save by their goalie. That's four saves already this game. Can we hit them on the counterattack? Well, there's a nice tackle in midfield, a long pass to our striker. Can he finish? It's another save by their goalie. Oh, no, he hit the woodwork, it looks like. Okay, so it is halftime. We've had five shots, and they have four saves. Oh, my. Their goalkeeper, of course, is the man of the match so far to 7.4. Um, Everybody's fitness is looking good. I love the way we're playing. Currently, they don't even have a shot. Let's see if we can get a result here. We really need to. Okay, so we jumped to the result, and absolutely nothing to show you, to be honest. We've had eight shots, three chances. I believe their goalkeeper got man of the match, it seems like. Yes, an 8.7. we got to practice our finishing, because we've had plenty of chances there, and we could not score a single goal. That's a disappointing result against MK Dons, especially since it was our home game, and we dominated them. Alright, so let's go to the postmaster interview. Let's see what they have to say. Alright, so Coley has been struggling for form recently. What do I think about that? Um, the team has to come first. I want to see a reaction. I would say the team has to come first. I mean, as the manager, yes, I want to put the team first. If we're getting results, that's what matters the most. Unfortunately, we didn't get a result today. Alright, so you still can't defeat them. How do you improve? I mean, we did everything we could to defeat them. We just couldn't finish, right? Um, 
we actually haven't played a lot of games recently, so I don't think that is a good answer for this question. I'm going to say we will stick together, I promise you. I mean, it was a good performance, just lacking the finish, right? So for the last question, there wasn't much between the teams today. What did you make of the result? Um, I thought we saw two very committed teams out there. No, I'm not going to say that. MK Dons barely did anything. They had one shot. Um, I'm disappointed we couldn't keep a clean sheet. Well, it finished nil-nil, so how was that not a clean sheet? Good one, game. And then the players gave me everything. I'm going to say that. Yes, they tried their best. Of course, the finishing was lacking, but at least they tried their best. They put a game, good game out there for us, and we just couldn't get a result. All right, so let's check the standings. Gillingham's up next, and they are actually better than us. They are in third place. I don't really want to use the second team for this, but I'm going to prioritize the cup match. So, unfortunately, I do think we should use the second team for this game. Let's check the squad fitness. Okay, they are all 100% fit. Now, if I let the first team run out for this game, do you think they will be ready within four days to play this cup match? I think it's a risk worth taking. Now, if we use the first team here and then we lose the game, there's no benefit. But we need a result, especially since we didn't win the last one against MK Dons. So, what we're going to do, we're going to use the first team, tactical sim this as well, and then I will play the cup match with the first team as well. Alright, so they're kicking off in blue kits, and we are in our traditional yellow. They're already working through the center, and that's a goal in the fifth minute. Mahoney, their right mid, cuts in on his left foot, I believe, and finesses it to the top left corner. Alright, so it's already looking like a mistake for playing the first team, but let's see if we can get a result. Cut it center? Nope. They intercepted on the left side, and they're trying to counter now. Plays it center, and there's a lot of space down the right. Cuts it back inside, and a oh, nice save by our goalie. It was almost 2-0 two, two nil already. All right, we need some tracking back by Kizzy now. They're on the left. Plays it center. Now our center mid with the ball. He plays it to our number 9. Plays it back center. Is there some more space? Play it back, and number 9 with the ball. Pat Patrick has it in their box. Back to Kizzy. Back to Patrick. I don't know who has the ball now. Come on, let's create a good shooting opportunity. Only a few minutes left before halftime. We had the ball in their box, but nothing to shoot at. Okay. They have the ball on the left now. Some decent amount of space. Tries to cross it in, but it's blocked out for a corner. Can we clear our lines? We clear it. And is it halftime yet? Not quite. Clear it, clear it. Okay, it is halftime. They are up 1-0. Mahoney in the fourth minute with two shots from them, 50% possession each, zero shots from us. We did have a lot of percent, uh, possession right there, but we did have a lot of possession in their box right there, but no shooting opportunity. Okay, we kick it off for the second half. All right, they pick the ball up. They're working through midfield. There's a lot of space to the right winger, plays it back to their striker, and it's 2-0. Boone in the 58th minute from their striker. That's frustrating. We started out the second half pretty well, but they get an opening goal. Alright, we pick the ball up in midfield. We need a response right now if we want to get anything from this game. Patrick has the ball, cuts it back center, and the goalkeeper with a nice save. That was the opportunity that we needed to take right there. Following corner kick is kind of cleared, but we get it again. Is he going to whip it in? Plays it back to Kizzy. Plays it center. Is there a shooting opportunity? Only eight minutes left in the game. Cuts it back. And we get the rebound. Eastman. I believe our striker shot it, and the goalkeeper rebounded it right to Eastman. Okay, six minutes remaining. Can we get another goal? Let's equalize and at least take a point from this game. All right, we're playing through the center. There was a nice gap right there, but it was cut out by their center back. Their right winger has it, plays it center, clear it, come on, clear it, that is game. 2-1, we lose, uh, if we were going to lose, 
probably should have just played the second team anyways. But it is what it is. Let's go into the cup match after what? We suffered a draw in the last game against MK Dons and now a defeat against Gillingham. Okay, this is the BSM trophy. I mean, I thought it was going to be the FA Cup or something important, but I don't really know about this trophy. So what we're going to do, we are actually going to simulate this match. I promise I'll play the next one. It's a home game against Salford. So let's see what Salford's rankings are in the standings. Okay, so Salford is actually in 10th place right behind us. So it's a good game to play. If we win... We're going to be on 24 points, which puts us level with Wimbledon. However, of course, they have a game to play as well. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to play the game against Salford, and we're just going to simulate this game because, honestly, I don't know how important the BSM trophy is. It doesn't sound fancy at all. It's not the FA Cup. So the only real question is, what team do we use? All right, so we have decided not to use the second team for this game, but we have decided to substitute some of our star players out in order to keep them fresh for the game against Salford. Now, we're going to simulate this match. The BSM trophy. I don't really care what the result is. We already drew our first game. All right, Wigan has the ball here on the left. We do not want to concede an early goal again. They play at center, and our keeper with a nice save. It's the 10th minute in the following corner kick. They play it back, and they do score from the corner kick. Shaw, left center mid. That is very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. It's like, I don't know what to do to get a result with this team. I mean, I feel like the signings I've made are pretty good. Sheriff and Greylinger haven't really done anything for us to, so far. It's, it's very frustrating. Alright, let's see if we can get anything from this game. We play it back center, finds a person in the box, and then pull our shot wide. We actually do have a bit of space here in the center. Can we play it to our striker? No, it's intercepted by their left back. Keep them from cutting inside. Okay, Kizzy with an interception, but they get the ball right back, and they do cut it back inside. I don't know how it's too, not 2-0 too already. Shaw in the 11th minute. They have 3 shots to 2 chances, and we have 2 shots. Overall, they are the better team, but let's see if we can get a result. Uh, I do want to make some substitutions in this game, but not quite yet. They have the ball right off the kickoff, and we clear our lines. So like I was saying, I do want to make some substitutions, keep our team fresh for Salford, and try to get a small result here, and we do actually score the equalizer Coley in the 55th minute. That's pretty good. Okay, I was not expecting anything from that. But, let's see if we can actually go and take the lead now. I'm going to make some substitutions the next time the ball goes out. Let's do team management right now, actually. So, we are going to bring on Wilkins. We're going to bring on Wilkins for Sheriff, actually. Because Wilkins can play left mid. And then... I believe it's probably better to keep them off the pitch for now. Maybe we'll bring on Patrick for Pereira. Okay, so we brought on Wilkins and Patrick. Let's see if we can block it. They pull it back, finds their striker, and a goalkeeper with a nice save. Okay, the following corner kick is whipped in. It finds someone in the box. Cannot clear it yet. A goalkeeper with another save, but he was offside anyways. Okay, what does Wilkins have to offer us on the left side? We play it center again. There's a lot of space. Just four minutes remaining in the game. We need to get the ball now if we want to get a win here. Nothing right now. Two minutes left of extra time. Can we clear? Can we clear? Come on. Oh my gosh, okay, that was scary. Uh, okay, 62% possession to 38 Five shots to three. They've had four chances and only one goal, and we have one goal as well. Overall, they played better than us, but that is not important. The result is what matters. Coley is our best player. Shaw is their best player. Each of them got a goal. And now we are going to jump into the next game against Salford. 
All right, like I said, I am going to play this game against Salford. Let's see if we can get a decent result using the first team. All right, and we are underway. We are kicking off in the yellow kits. They are in their black kits. Like I said, Salford is in 10th place, and we are in 9th place. If we can get a win here, then we should be able to get right up next to AFC Wimbledon. And I believe they are in 4th place. Salford's on a very good start here. It's been a while since i played the AI, so I'm not sure how well my defending is going to be. But, uh, like I said, I can't... Oh, let's get it clear. It falls to them. They find their striker. A nice save by our goalie. Let's try to get it clear now. All right, Sheriff on the left wing. Plays at center. Down to Patrick. Up to Smith. Tries to find O'Brien, but he is body blocked by their center back. Let's go to Patrick again. Up to Smith. Smith trying to get O'Brien open, but I don't see anything there. Plays it to O'Brien, who finds Smith. Smith's on the right wing here. Takes a long touch. Ball rolls it. Finds O'Brien. Pulls it back to Clay. Oh, we get tackled on the edge of their box. Okay. Oh, I tried to offside trap them, and they could be through here. Uh, frustrating. Oh, what what a good play. Unfortunately, or I should say fortunately, they did not finish that. I don't know why I was saying unfortunately. I mean, it was a nice play, but we don't want to see them score. It's fine, Patrick. That's a terrible pass. I'm so rusty right now. That's a nice tackle by good life. Up to Patrick. Patrick with a very heavy touch. Kizzy keeps it on, plays it center to Clay, finds Eastman, down to Patrick, and we just can't get anything going right now. They have some space here in the box, and the header is wide. Okay, they are all over us so far. We play the ball to John, who finds good life. Let's go to Clay. The one-touch passing is just not it with this team. Our goalkeeper with a nice save to keep us in this. <sighs> okay. Let's try one touch passing again. It's I, I just can't get anything going. They are all over us. And then they finish in the near post. Hmm. It's not looking good for this game. I don't think I've really had a good opportunity so far. And they've had multiple. <sighs> I'm just so rusty. I have not played Legendary in a very long time. They're through here again. Plays it to their striker, who finishes and makes it two. Okay, this could probably be three or four already, but thankfully, it's only two. We do have a chance to come back, but it is not looking likely. Plays it to O'Brien, who finds Smith. Patrick could be through here, but I believe he is offside. Yes, he is. Okay. Unfortunately, that was our best opportunity so far. Is he not offside? He is not offside, and it's three already. Oh my gosh, this is very frustrating. <laughs> I don't know what to do. We need a goal right away, especially before halftime, if we want to come back here. They're just all over us, and I can't get anything to go. I mean, I tackled him right there. What do you want me to do, game? I tackled him, and then the ball falls right back to him. It's 4-0 at the near post. How is our goalkeeper getting beat like that? This is so frustrating. Like, I know I have not played this game in a long time, but I'm not that bad. There's a tackle right there. I try to go away with John, and then it just, just falls right back to him. <sighs> oh, the goalkeeper is such a disappointment. This team is absolutely trash. Yes, I know, I am probably terrible too, but come on. They're just playing like prime Barcelona right now, and it could be five already, but it's not, thankfully. And then they just read that perfectly. Goalkeeper with a decent save, about the only thing he's done this match. And that is halftime. <sighs> it's 4-0, it could easily be five or six, maybe even seven. They're on the left wing here, trying to make it five before the 50th minute. Mm. Nothing so far. 
nice tackle, but of course it goes right back to him because of course EA would let them get the ball back. They're gonna, oh, that's a penalty, right. <sighs> I love this game. I love this game. I'm not even ready, but they scored anyways. It's five new. What do you want to do? This game just wants them to beat me. Well, it's probably going to be six right here, right? You would think so, and it is six in the 56th minute. I am getting schooled by this team. I don't know what has happened. <laughs> I used to be decent against Legendary, and either they up the difficulty for Legendary to maybe something that I'm not used to, like, for right there, I don't know why our left mid does not make a run. There was some space. Their fucking right back pulled out of out of position. Our left back... Our left mid did not make a run. We could actually be in here. Eastman with a chance. And we do finish. It's 6-1. Maybe we're just trying to make it Brazil. Can they score again and make it 7-1? Brazil versus Germany in the World Cup. Come on, let's do it. Who says no, right? I mean, we're playing better now. But again, not good enough. We need another right now. I mean, at this point, we're just trying to save goal, goal difference. I mean, Graylinger makes a nice run. Takes a nice long touch. And, okay, for some reason... Oh, we're through here with Sheriff. And, okay, we've actually made it 6-2. We're just fighting for goal difference at this point. But, at this rate, it's better than nothing, honestly. And we can't even... What is that attempt at a tackle? Come on. Alright, we find Patrick on the right wing. Can we give it to Kizzy now? Cuts back to Patrick. Finds O'Brien. O'Brien, and he pulls a shot wide. I mean, even if he put it in, we probably weren't going to get anything from this game. But it would at least give a small hope, right? Frustrating. Very frustrating, this game. Look at their one-touch passing. It's nearly perfect. How come our team can't do that? Look, perfect one-touch passing. I mean, the quality of our players are very similar. Maybe they're a few ratings higher, but come on. Absolutely immaculate play by them, and they nearly score a header from the penalty spot. There's a lot of space in the left wing here. I tried to bait them into a tackle. Didn't work. Come on, Kizzy, get it. Why can't... Okay, yeah, that, and that's going to be another one. Oh, yeah, just drop it right to their other striker. Come on. 7-2. to two. Well, it wasn't Brazil versus Germany, but... <laughs> it wasn't much better, was it? I just feel like I'm playing with a gold team, and I'm really not. I keep on trying to do gold team things. Like that. <laughs> like, what are you doing? I know I'm terrible at this game right now, but they should not be beating us like this. I mean, if you look at the performance, Sheriff got a goal and assist. That's about the best performance they've had from our new signings. But other than that, there was nothing really to be happy about. Smith had a nice assist. Eastman got a goal. Alright, so we're going to the postmaster interview, and I'm going to tell them exactly how I feel. That was a very tough game for you. Um, look, you can't win every week, but surely you you can at least not lose 7-2 to two every week, right? We needed a goal when it mattered. We have to keep, keep our heads up. Yeah, we have to keep our heads up. Honestly, I just want to curse at my team. We have to do work defensively. I don't care if your morale is going down. That was a pitiful def performance today. We got taught a bit of a lesson. We did. I don't care if you're unhappy. You need to step it up. That was terrible. No further questions. I'm sure a lot of that was probably because of me, but it seemed like Salford played like prime Barcelona, and we couldn't even get a single pass to work in the first half. So we're going to check a few emails right now, and then we're probably going to let the episode go right there. Um, let's get rid of all this. All right, so we have two emails worth talking about. Meller, who is actually on loan for Wickham Wanderers, has not been getting enough game time. So, um, they are concerned with this hampering his player development. And 
and they want us to offer him more games in the future. Now, he is not a first-team player, so I cannot promise anything like that. But, of course, when the opportunity arises, I will definitely do that. Now, we are in the scouting report. It looks like there's only one person worth scouting longer, to be honest. I mean, this 81 potential, it could be good. Especially up until, what, the championship level? 81 potential is pretty good. But... As far as Luke Kelly, who's 67 potential, even at his highest potential, he's not going to make the first team. So we're going to get rid of him. A 17-year-old with 72 potential, we'll leave him for now. However, this 16-year-old, it is our second month scouting him, but he is showing 69 to 89 potential, which is actually pretty decent. And I believe we should sign him. Um, he's pretty quick. At least that's what it looks like. He could be up to 93 pace. Um, but yeah, we're going to sign him for now. And we're going to leave the other two. And hopefully they come back better for next month. Now that is going to be all for this episode. Um, I'm going to keep trying to upload at least two times a week for the career mode. That doesn't include uh, other videos. Like I speak Korean, so I do Korean episodes as I mentioned previously. And I also did a pack opening for Team of the Year, so you might want to check that out. I did pack a nice Team of the Year and a Team of the Year icon as well. Maybe about 10 different honorable mentions, so it's worth watching if you have some time. Uh, if you're enjoying the series and you want to see more of it, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, other than that, you can leave a comment of any ideas you want to see in the series or other teams that I should maybe transfer to later as manager or maybe players that you want to see on this team. We are currently in the lowest English league, so basically any player that has feet could help us right now. As you just saw with the previous result, losing 7-2, to two, I'm pretty sure I could do better out there. Anyways, that is all for this episode. I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye.